This is how you can host your website using GitHub Pages for free. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't already know, you do need to actually host your website and most of the time you do have to pay for it. However, you can use GitHub Pages to actually make your website public and online 24-7 for free. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that memberships now are available on my channel. You can buy a membership by clicking the join button next to my username or you can go ahead and click the link in the description below. If you join the super god tier or custom bot tier, you will get access to paste bins, meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website so that you don't actually have to type it out. If you purchase the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you, go ahead and click join and and with that, let's go ahead and get back into the video. So go to github.com and make sure you're signed in. And then go to your repositories and just go ahead and click new. You can also do this on the top here. You can click the plus button and you can click new repository. In here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and give it a name. So this is gonna be like your website name. So for me, I'm gonna do tutorial site, just like that. And it is available, so that's good. And you do have to leave it public because if you set it to private, then it will not work on GitHub pages because this is a free service. So just go ahead and click public and that's all you have to do. Just go ahead and click create repository. So in here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and click uploading an existing file right here we can actually go ahead and open up the website file and we can just go ahead and drag all of the files that make our website into that drag box now that it's here we can just go ahead and click commit changes at the very bottom it's going to process the file so just give it a minute and once it's done you'll have your files in your repository so to actually make this a github website you can go over to settings and you can go ahead and click on pages right here so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click deploy from branch. It might be on GitHub Actions, but you're gonna wanna keep it deploy from branch. Now you're gonna need to go ahead and select main as your branch and just go ahead and click save. Now this will take a little bit of time for it to actually work. So just give it like five, 10 minutes. It might be less depending on how big your website actually is. And then if you go ahead and refresh it, it will show up. So while we wait for the website to actually render, you can import a custom domain. So as you can see here, it says you can save a domain instead of having mysteryawesome.github.io or whatever your GitHub username is. Now this is gonna be pretty nice because you can actually host your website for free and get rid of the GitHub in the title. So if you do have a custom domain, just go ahead and put that in there and follow these steps to actually ensure that it's yours. And then you'll have a custom domain for your website. So if we reload the page here, it's gonna say your site is live at mysteryawesome.github hub.io slash tutorial site so if we go ahead and click on the site as you can see it is going to go ahead and display the website from the tutorial video that we did a couple of days ago let's say you make a change to the website so we have another paragraph and we say subscribe to mr j awesome at mr awesome yt on youtube or something like that and we go ahead and save it if we actually reload the website nothing is going to happen because we need to actually input this into github so we can go back to github.com right here and we can find our our repository. My repository is right here. It's the tutorial site. Now we're going to want to go ahead and re-upload the index.js or whatever files we made changes to. So let's say I changed the style and the index. I would have to re-upload them both, but because I only changed the index.js, we're going to go ahead and upload that. So you can go ahead and click on the index.html. We're just going to go ahead and delete it. So we can go ahead and click commit changes. Then we can just go ahead and drag the index on to the GitHub right here. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and allow us to commit the changes with the new index.html file. So we can just go ahead and click commit changes. After it's done processing, we can go back over to settings. We can go ahead and click on pages and we're going to go ahead and set the main to none. We can go ahead and click save and then we can go ahead and change it to main one more time. Click save and now we we are going to have to wait a little bit for the website to actually deploy. So if we go ahead and reload GitHub, it's going to go ahead and say my site is live and we can actually go ahead and click on it. You might not see the change you made right away, so if you don't, just go ahead and click reload. And as you can see, it's going to say subscribe to Mr. Awesome and Mr. Awesome IT on YouTube, just like we inputted it into the actual document in our Visual Studio code. Now, in the first website tutorial, I did mention that if you actually run the files for the index.html on your computer, nobody else is going to be able to access it because it's pretty much just on your own desktop. Now I can actually go ahead and send this link to other people so they can view my website. If this is helpful for you, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use one of the web coding help channels. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.